Hi, hello, my dear children. I hope all of you are staying safe. In the previous session, we were discussing about the perimeter of a closed figure. Isn't it? What is the perimeter? The perimeter is the total distance or the total length around the shape of a closed figure. Isn't it? And in this session, we are going to discuss about the other measure of the closed figures. Now, let us imagine this rectangle represents a field. Okay, children? And if it is a field, first we will be ploughing the field. Isn't it, children? The farmers will plough the field. So, which portion of this field, rectangular field, is ploughed? Now let's, let us imagine this playground or this square represent a playground. So to make a playground, first step is what? We have to level the playground. We have to clean the playground. Isn't it children? So for leveling, which portion of this playground is leveled? And let us imagine this represents a wall, a rectangular wall. So if it is a wall, we used to paint the wall or whitewash the wall. So which portion of this rectangular wall is painted? Now let us imagine this square represents a floor. If it is a floor, we used to pave the floor with the tiles or cement the floor. Isn't it children? So which portion of the floor is cemented or paved with the tiles? Now if the triangle represents a park, which portion of the park is leveled? So first we have to level the ground, then only we will do the other steps, isn't it? So which portion? So for ploughing, leveling, painting, cementing or paving, which portion of that particular shape is selected? Only the inner surface. Isn't it? These things can be done only in the inner surface of the shape. So what is the special name, mathematical name for this concept? For this inner surface area. So have you understood children? So the inner surface of any closed figure is the area of that particular figure and the total distance around or the total length around that closed figure is called its perimeter. Perimeter is a length. Okay, children? But area is a surface. This whole surface. Is it clear? The boundary is a length. Total length of the boundary is a length. Area is the inner surface. Okay, children? So let us try. This is the area. Okay. And now, for perimeter, We are fencing a field or playground, framing a photo, bordering a cloth, constructing compound wall. For these things, we have to find the perimeter. And for these purposes, we have to find the area. Isn't it? That's why these two measures play an important role in our day to day life. Okay. Why do we need these measures? Without measuring the land or whatever it is, playground or whatever it is, we can do all these things, no? Then why do we need this measure? Children, for doing all these purposes, for plowing, we need money. For leveling also, we need money. For painting the wall, we have to buy the Materials, paint 
and for cementing or paving we have to find the necessary um, quantity of the materials isn't it children and for fencing also we have to buy the length the, we should know the total length of the iron barbed wires and for framing we should know how much frame is needed and bordering what is the total length of the bordering material needed we should know that and for constructing compound wall how many bricks are needed or how many hollow blocks are needed how much cement is needed how much sand is needed these quantities exact quantities we should know then only we can make a plan we can make arrangements for the money so without plan we cannot do anything then only there will not be any wastage and children if you take this small board the white surface represent the area of this and this pink color frame represent the perimeter of this shape is it clear perimeter is the length and the area is the inner surface and in the same way if you if you consider this board white surface the inner white surface represent the area and the outer frame represent the total length of the outer frame represent the perimeter okay children so these measures are needed to avoid wastage and wastage of money and wastage of time okay children so i think you have might have got a clear idea of these two measures area and perimeter and why should we need these measures you might have understood and in the next session we will discuss how to calculate this measures that is the area and perimeter what is the formula for that the shortest method everything we will discuss in the next session thank you children take care of your health be safe god bless you all